بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از ڈاکٹر ارشد علی بھٹو کنسلٹنٹ فزیشین اینڈ رومیٹالوجسٹ دس ایکس رے از یوئلی گیون ان ون آف دی اسٹیشن آف ٹاکس ان آئی ایم ایم اینڈ ان پارٹ ٹو ایف سی پی ایس یو آر آسٹ ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی دی ایکس رے ان واٹ آر یور فائنڈنگس دین آفٹر یو آر آسٹ ٹو ٹیل یو ڈفرینشیل ڈائگنوسس Sir, this is X-ray skull lateral view with jaws showing the hair on end appearance which is also known as, as a crew cut sign. Hair on end appearance means thin, fine, linear extensions radiating out from skull that looks on X-ray like hair standing on end from the skull. Hair represent the accentuated trabeculae extending between the inner and outer skull table. through the dipole in the expanded bone marrow space. You may be asked what are the causes of this radiological sign. If you are asked to tell the causes of this radiological sign, then you may tell in the form of a mnemonic that is high nest, H for hereditary spherocytosis, I for iron deficiency anemia, N for neuroblastoma, E for enzyme deficiencies which lead to the hemolytic anemias, S for sickle cell with thalassemia and T for thalassemia. But if you are asked to tell the differential diagnosis, you will say, Sir, my topmost differential diagnosis is thalassemia. But other differential diagnosis could be severe hemolytic anemias. Those hemolytic anemias other than thalassemia could be in the form of sickle cell disease, glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency and hereditary spherocytosis. Their next question could be, okay, your top most differential diagnosis is thalassemia major. Then what are the causes of hepatosplenomegaly and thalassemia major? Causes of hepatosplenomegaly in thalassemia are secondary hemochromatosis from repeated blood transfusions, secondary viral infections, and extramedullary hematopiosis. The next question could be what is your plan of management? Try to understand this question. If they are asking you what is the plan of your management, then you will say The plan of my management is in the form of investigations and the treatment. If they are asking you what is the plan of your treatment, then you will directly tell the plan of your treatment. Investigations Sir, I will advise the abdominal ultrasound in order to confirm my findings of hepatosplenomegaly. Apart from basic investigations such as CBC with peripheral film and rate count, liver function test, renal function test, serum electrolytes, lactate dehydrogenase, and hepatoglobin. I would advise patient for hemoglobin electrophoresis which is also known as, as the hemoglobin fraction action in order to confirm my topmost diagnosis that is thalassemia. For my other differential diagnosis, I would advise patient for osmotic fragility test, glucose, 6-phosphate dehydrogenase level. Their next question would be, what would you like to see inside the electrophoriosis? Sir, I would like to see hemoglobin A2, fetal hemoglobin and hemoglobin S. And sometime hemoglobin C and hemoglobin E can also be studied. Another question that can be asked is, what are the complications of thalassemia? Sir, the complications of the thalassemia are divided into three main groups. Number one, because of disease itself, which may be in the form of bony deformities, anemic heart failure, and leg ulcers. Because of the iron chelating agents. Number third, because of the transfusions, which could be in the form of secondary hemochromatosis and secondary viral infections. Complications related to the iron chelating agents are different for the infusion iron chelating agent and oral iron chelating agents. The complications related to the infusion iron chelating agents such as deferoxamine or sensory neuropathy or renal impairment 
and corneal opacities while the complications related to the oral ciliated agents such as d ferrous rocks or d ferri prone could be arthropathies and a granulocytosis another question that can be asked is which is better to ciliate iron from the liver oral or infusion sir infusion is better option to ciliate iron from the liver while oral is better to ciliate iron from the heart that means if the thalassemic patient secondary to the repeated transfusions develops the hemochromatosis and because of that hemochromatosis if he develops the cirrhosis then the better option is in the form of infusion while if the patient develops restricted to cardiomyopathy secondary to hemochromatosis then the better option is in the form of oral but if the patient is having the secondary hemochromatosis and yet he has not developed any complication related to the heart or liver then the both can be given simultaneously in order to prevent the toxicity and complications related to iron overload their next and most important question could be what is the treatment of thalassemia sir the treatment of thalassemia is divided into non pharmacological and pharmacological options non pharmacological strategy consists of educating the patient regarding the nature of disease and counseling him if he is alcoholic then he should be asked to remain away from it he should be socially psychosocially educationally occupationally and nutritionally supported and he should also be vaccinated pneumococcal vaccination five yearly hemophilus influenza vaccine three yearly and influenza annually pharmacological strategy consists of repeated blood transfusions plus iron ciliating agents what are the surgical options for the thalassemic patient sir the surgical options for the thalassemic patient are splenectomy cholecystectomy and bone marrow transplantation cholecystectomy because of the hemolysis which may lead to the pigmented stone formations in gall bladder what are the indications of splenectomy in thalassemic patient sir the indications of splenectomy in thalassemic patient are huge spleen liable to trauma hypersplenism increased frequency of blood transfusions more than 60 percentage from the usual what should be the target of hemoglobin in thalassemic patient sir it should be greater than 10 g per dl in order to prevent the bony deformities because above this level extra medullary hematiosis is prevented and hence patient does not develop the bony deformities inshallah through all these videos almost each and every station related to the talks of imm and part 2 will be covered stay in touch and if you want to have video on any of the station you may inbox me thank you